Those of you who pay close attention to me may wonder why I'm so fixated with Westboro Baptist Church. I think there are psychological reasons. Since I am determined to achieve my goals, my mind focuses on certain things for purposes of studying them. The approach of Westboro Baptist Church is clearly not a good one to attract people to causes. Hating everyone obviously doesn't make everyone love you. It makes me realize there are two motivations for doing activist-related things. One is to make a point, the other is to attract people to the cause. Westboro Baptist Church is superb at making points. I consider them to be perhaps the finest culture jammers around. Yet, they are the worst at attracting people to their cause. I guess second to worst, since I am the worst. They at least have 70-some members. I wish I had one-seventh that many. So I have been focusing most of my energy on making points or attracting people to the cause. There is a time to make points, especially those points that offend, and there is a time to attract followers. The tactics used for one do not work for the other. The best people in the world are those who stand up for some great truth that society rejects. I don't see Westboro Baptist Church as all bad, like most people do. I don't agree with everything they say or do, of course, but I refuse to throw out the baby with the bathwater. This is seeing things in gray. For example, I don't agree with their views on homosexuality. I say let anyone who wants to marry, marry. Who cares who marries whom? The more gay guys we have, the more women available for me to select from. Of course, the main point of Westboro Baptist Church is anti-homosexuality. It's too bad their central issue is an abortion or alcohol. They are so Scorpio, like I am, and I have seen myself argue their way before, like in my abortion book and with the alcohol issue. I also relate to them because they are the outcasts. I take stands, though in my case I would like to think they are for great noble truths, like the idea that people besides certified teachers have wisdom and knowledge, that cause society to ostracize, marginalize me. When I go about this, most everyone hates me. Few less followers than they have follow me. Authority figures have the mentality of democracy that if more than one person is against something, it's wrong. So they will do whatever they can to stop it. If someone who is a part of the status quo complains to cops, they usually consider said compliment complaint to be etched in stone as perfectly valid. Despite what the law books and right documents say, cops will find loopholes to deny you your rights and sometimes they will brazenly disobey the law because they can. So it bothers me when authority figures don't protect people like Westboro Baptist Church because I know it can happen to me as well and it has happened to me. In fact, authority figures protect them more than me. Once, for an anti-alcohol protest, they refused to provide me with extra police protection. Yet they used our tax dollars to give the KKK free bodyguards. I saw this happen when I was in high school in Rockford, Illinois. Dozens and dozens, perhaps hundreds of police officers from the Rockford Police Department were free bodyguards for the KKK. The KKK is worthy of police protection? But I am not. The message is to be a hate group and society will reward you with free bodyguards. Suckers like popular music stars don't have to have to pay for that shit. The KKK, they get it for free. They say if you don't like something in the world, it means it's something about yourself you don't like. This is why a lot of people hate Westboro Baptist Church. They can't accept that part of themselves, so they try to smash it down. On the other hand, I perfectly accept that part of myself, though I can't accept other parts. So I don't look toward it with hate and anger. When I went to Africa, I was appalled with the Peace Corps. I couldn't accept that part of myself. I did not manifest their arrogance and pushiness in the same context as they did. But when I got home, I realized I do, or at least have, 
manifested those qualities in other contexts. I realized the errors of the Westboro Baptist Church, but my reaction towards the Peace Corps is harsh. But even though Westboro Baptist Church is more extreme, my reaction towards them is less extreme than towards the Peace Corps. Does this mean I clearly recognize the Westboro Baptist Church part of myself, but did not clearly recognize the Peace Corps part of myself? Or perhaps, like the site therighttobewrong.net, which has many of the same views that I have towards Westboro Baptist Church, that we don't agree with their message, but they should be let be, said, I would rather have someone spit in my eye than stab me in the back. Westboro Baptist Church definitely says things to your face. And unlike the Klan, they don't go about hiding their faces. I think there's something to be admired about saying the things they do without hiding themselves. And I also look at Westboro Baptist Church with such great interest because even though I may be the only one who sees it, Westboro Baptist Church is so very punk. Everything about it. I read a book called Hardcore Zen. This book was a punk rocker's acceptance of Buddhism. The punk rocker made an excellent point about Buddhism. He said Buddhism has this belief that everything is sacred and everything is profane. All over the world, we have people saying everything is great. But we have people like Westboro Baptist Church showing us that everything is profane. Everything. Your sacred institutions, there have profane elements. If not, being entirely corrupted. Westboro Baptist Church goes after the military. They go after every nation on earth. Every nation on earth has many virtues, but they also have many vices. So we need to accept this iconoclastic view of Westboro Baptist Church. This may not be their approach all the time, but sometimes it is justified. So I say let them be. There are better things to get worked up about. And they may even have something to teach us.